got Lisa Oh, Lisa, um, moved back to Iowa this year. You said you're really happy with that move, and it just, you know, Portland didn't quite feel like home, I guess, too. But the results haven't been quite as good. I mean, you were running 14.55 in 31 minutes, and this year you're running 15.29 in 32.40 something. So, you, I, I think sort of the casual fan might be like, well, this doesn't seem like it's going very well, but are you still happy with everything? And I'm really happy. I mean, anytime you make a big change, you kind of. If it wasn't going to be last year, maybe it would be this year. You kind of expect, you know, ups and downs. And I've had plenty of ups and downs in my career. Um, I was a national champion my junior year of college, and then my senior year of college, I was ninth at NCAAs. People might not remember that, but that was a really rough year. And I was kind of like, oh, maybe I'm done with running. And then my fifth year, I had an amazing year in 2010. I ran 1455. And then in 2011, when I first joined Jerry's group, um, I was injured. I had a really rough year. I made the World Cross team that fall, but I did not run well at World Cross. Um, I didn't run well really again until leading up into the Olympic trials. Um, so I've had a lot of experience with making big changes and struggling with running and coming back. And so um, I feel like the move was definitely the right. It was the right move for my career moving forward. Um, I hope to not have to make any changes from here on out. Um, I'm very happy where I'm at. And um, I accept the fact that last year was a struggle, and I think I learned a lot from that, and I can be on a good path to have a successful year in 2014. Running-wise, what do you think? Well, why didn't it quite click for you? Um, I had a lot of little hiccups. Uh, I, hate, I hate making excuses. I think I did what I was supposed to do. Like, I, I did... I did what almost prescribed me to do. Um, I ran into a few little injuries here and there, um, but nothing, nothing drastic. I think we were on a great path leading into U.S. Indoors, um, where I was third in like a really close race. Um, I had done the Houston Pass in January, and while the time wasn't that great, I felt like I was very competitive. I felt like I was in a good spot, and um, at U.S. Indoors, it felt great. Um, competed really well, closed faster than I've ever closed a race. And then I think we got maybe a little greedy after that, and um, I really wanted to, you know, have a successful season and be like, I made the right move. Um, and in doing that, I think I left a lot of my running and my workouts in kind of that March-April time, and I suffered the rest of the the rest of the track season because of that. But um, we're taking a much more like a much less aggressive approach this year, and I think that'll be good for me. Right. And what's the coaching situation like? Is uh, Who's coaching you? I'm still being coached by Immels. So okay. Because so you moved back and then now. he left to where? Yeah. Where did he go? I forgot. Boise State. Yeah. So um, I, the, everyone at Iowa State's still been great. The new coaching staff there. I still have access to all the facilities. Um, so I'm doing my training in Des Moines and Ames right now. Actually, right after this race, I'm heading to Boise for a training stint there to kind of reconnect with Corey. Um, but with the type of coach that he is and the type of athlete I am, I think. Um, the, the distance coaching will work, and doing these training stints along the way will still be a nice kind of way to focus in right before I do my competitions. Right. And, you know, looking down the road, is a marathon in the future? Like... It's, it's definitely in the future. Um, I, I want to do a marathon. I don't know when yet. Um, I feel like I haven't really hit the nail on the head in a half yet, and I want to do that before I delve into the full. So I'm looking to doing some more road racing and kind of get my feet wet in that department and less in the track and, and then maybe make a decision about whether I want to do a fall marathon or whether I want to, you know, stick to the, the track and um, go over to Europe and try to run something fast out there because I feel like there's still a lot left in me on the track in the 5K and the 10K and um, even though I struggled last year, I feel like I've had this constant kind of wave through my career and so... Um, I'm hoping and expecting that this year will go well. Yeah, sounds like it's kind of like an every other year type it thing. It is, it yeah. is, which, I mean, if you go by patterns, then yeah, 2014 will be good. So, so what's the big goal for next year? Do you, do you quite not know? or? Um, I don't quite know. I'm, I'm looking at probably doing the Houston half, and depending on how that goes, it, it depends how I, how I structure the rest of the year. Um, I want to be running really well in USA's. I think a big goal would be to win USA's this year in, in Sacramento um, in the 10K. Um, but then beyond that, maybe doing a fall marathon as well. So I have a lot of goals that I'm kind of have penciled in right now, and I'll probably put those in pen 
once I get a little bit further in. I was injured all summer, um, so I'm just getting back into training now. I, I had my first week at full mileage last week, so I haven't really been able to focus in on a goal. I was just about getting healthy and getting back to training. Right. So what was the injury? Um, I, I had a severe strain of my extensor tendon on my left foot. Um, actually, right after USA, so USA went horribly. Um, and Immels was kind of like, he's like, I think you need just a big break from running. I think you just need, you know, six weeks off. Like, don't be a runner. Emotionally and mentally, I was completely drained and fizzled. And um, I was like, no, I'll be fine. I took about four days off. And I ran for two days. And the second day I ran, I must have stepped funny on something. Um, and I strained that extensor tendon. And it took four weeks for it to heal. It was like a big, in a big ball on the top of my foot. Um, and then I dealt with just a little bit of tendonitis coming off of that. And so I ended up taking about the six weeks off that he had originally asked for. So he got his way anyway. Right. Um, and then I used August and September to just kind of do a really slow build up. So you said full mileage. What does that mean? What is full mileage for you? Around 100. Oh, okay. Yeah. And what do we? Do you have a goal for tomorrow or Saturday? For Saturday, um, honestly, I just want to compete well. I just want to put myself in it and see what happens. Um, last year, I think I went into a lot of races thinking things were going to go great, and they didn't. Um, so I realized that all I can do is put myself in it. And um, especially at this point in the year, I've literally done I, my first workout was Tuesday. So um, I would just want to be competitive. It's a great field. I think everyone's in kind of a different spot with their training, which makes this race very interesting, I think, for a spectator. Um, but I ran it in 2011, so I think I went out a little aggressively in 2011. I want to go out a little bit more conservative, um, but try to be there at the end, going up that hill. Okay, good luck. Thanks.